Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, since my last earthquake about the New Madrid fault zone, there's been some more earthquakes of magnitude 2.7. It was 6 kilometers north-northwest of Donovan, Missouri. So that would be about 3.7 miles. The depth was 0 0.7 kilometers. So that would be less than one half of a mile in depth and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. So far today, 62 people reported feeling this earthquake. Also, there was a magnitude 2.1. Four people so far have reported that earthquake. It occurred about 2.33 a.m. Central Daylight Time. On the felt reports, here we have Park Hill. There was one response from there and looks like two responses close to where the earthquake occurred. I am sure there's a lot more people that reported this earthquake and being a 2.1 and 6 kilometers in depth, which would be almost 4 miles in depth. I'm surprised that there was so many people that reported feeling it. Granted, that area earthquakes can be felt over a very large area, but a 2.1 uh, generally is not felt. They usually say about 2.5 or greater, and this was a 2.1. So using Google Earth, we'll zoom to that location of the earthquake. Originally, this area was a rift zone where the United States was going to separate from, um, you know, split in half. It's what they call a failed rift zone. All right, so I had to reload Google Earth. It wasn't showing the uh, area very clearly. It was all blurry. These white lines, these are all blowholes or sand geysers, if you want to think of it that way. These are areas where um, earthquakes occurred that blew sand out with water. And that happened back in, what, 1811, 1812. I've talked about this failed rift zone before. It goes all the way up and circles around. Um, Lake Michigan. Let me follow this up and I'll show you right here. Let me zoom into that. Yeah, this is that failed rift zone. Yeah, and it comes down millions of years ago. Yeah, the United States was going to end up being divided into two separate land masses. So let's go to the area, the location using Google Earth of the 2.7. Yeah, 62 people reported feeling that. Looks like we got an airport close by. Let's zoom out a little bit. Airport, where was it? We got Ripley over here. Oh, over there. There it is. A little bit farther east, we got Flatwoods. We got Fair Dealing. Let's bring this out. Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Also yesterday there was a magnitude 2.2. .2. That was very shallow. 0 0.1 kilometers in depth. There's that 2.7. Another 2.1. Let me close this out so we can see it. Um, that occurred on the 3rd. Where is that location? Way over there. All right. I, I talked about that earthquake in my last report. It was probably not related with the uh, New Madrid um, seismic zone. But it is an indication that the continent is moving. Yeah, wouldn't it be terrible if all of a sudden this failed rift zone decided to open up? And I'll bring it over to that location. There's the 2.1. And then we got a 1.4, which was on the 3rd. And Hamilton, um, there was a 1.9. That was on the 2nd. I have drawn out in red. I don't know if you can see the little red lines, but the seismic zone and where the majority of the earthquakes have occurred. Yeah, and it goes all the way down here to marked tree. Um, someone made a comment about um, marked tree is the extended area of the uh, New Madrid fault zone. On August 30th of this year, there was a magnitude 3.6 earthquake near that same location. Let me close that out so you can see it. And as I've stated in my last video about the recent earthquakes in this location, yeah, it's just an indication that stress is still building 
and there is the possibility of a magnitude 7 7.5 earthquake or larger and it would be felt over a very large area remember there was that earthquake up by illinois oh, let me see if i can find it that was on the first of this month it was a 2.2 and reportedly felt yep you can see the seismic zone here let me bring this in let me close that out yeah right on the edge of the seismic zone yeah in 2008 there was a 5.2 and then about 6,000 years ago there was a magnitude 7.5 in that location all these earthquakes are just another warning that you should be prepared for something very large and like i said in my last video um, bridges would fail for a, from a large earthquake um, oil lines would break uh, gas lines would break fires would break out when they had that earthquake in 1811 1812 uh, church bells all the way in boston massachusetts rang out so did you feel any of these earthquakes here is the felt report from USGS from that magnitude 2.7. EMSC does not have it listed on their website. If you did feel that earthquake, put the details down below. What did it sound like? What direction did it come from? Um, did you notice any shaking? What were the animals doing? Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.